and welcome back to another video. This feels very strange to be picking up the camera because I haven't done this since the Vlogmas videos, which was quite a few weeks ago now. Um, I think it was almost a month ago that I filmed the last one because uh, obviously so far this year we have just had honeymoon videos. Um, so I thought I would pick up the camera today and do a sort of day in the life, just bring you along with me because today is actually my mum's birthday. So I'm going to see her tonight. So because I'm actually doing something, I thought I would bring you along with me. Um, just as a little break in between the honeymoon videos, I'm going to try and do that along the way just to sort of spread them out a little bit and make it as long as possible for me to be able to relive all of the memories because I am absolutely loving uploading those. If you haven't seen the ones that have gone live already, there will be a link to the playlist in the description of this video, so you can go and check those out if you want to. So, as you will have seen already this morning, I started my morning with some tea and toast. Um, since then, I have also washed my hair, which is why it looks a little bit fluffier than usual. Uh, and then I have just been at work this morning. As I said, it is my mum's birthday today, so happy birthday, mum because uh, I know you will watch this when it goes up at the weekend. And I'm going to show you now the presents that I've got. They are all wrapped, so you're not going to see what's actually in them until I get to her house and she opens them. I will show you everything then, um, but I'll just quickly show you everything that I've got. So this is what I've got for my mum's birthday. Um, this is just a little thing off the pets. Um, we always get each other something off the pets. And then her presents and card. I am also going to get a bunch of flowers when I nip into town on my way to her house when I finish work. And then I'm calling at the chippy for our tea as well. Um, so hopefully we'll have a nice evening for her birthday. Yeah, that is what I have got my mum for her birthday. Um, I'm just going to sit down because my arm is starting to ache a little bit. Um, yeah, so I am just currently on a break from work. So I thought that was as good a time as any to jump on and start the vlog. Sorry about the glare from my laptop screen. Um, yeah, so today I don't have a lot of plans other than work until I go to my mum's. I have been reading some more of the book that I'm on at the minute this morning. Let me just show you which one it is. Currently, I am reading this one, Meant to be Mine, uh, by Hannah Orenstein. Orenstein. I am actually really enjoying it so far. It is not my favourite book that I've read this year, um, but I am enjoying it. It's just a nice, easy read. Um, very, like, chick -lit ish um, But, yeah, I'm enjoying that one, so I will let you know over on Instagram what I end up thinking of that when I've finished it. Um, this year, I am trying to make a conscious effort to read more. I did a bit towards the end... Sorry if I'm looking down. The puppy's down here trying to get my attention. Um, I did read a little bit more towards the end of last year and I was really, really enjoying it. So this year, one of my, not resolutions, but one of my goals is to make more of an effort to read. Now, I started off the year with the intention of doing 23 books for 2023, just because I like the sound of it. But I am already on my third book of January and it is January 20th today. Um, so I'm now going to try and aim to read a book a week in 2023. I want to at least do 23 in 23. So I want to at least read 23 books this year, but I'm going to aim for a book a week. So I'll quickly show you the other two that I have read so far this year. The two that I have already finished this year. So I started January with Tom Felton's autobiography, uh, Beyond the Wand. This was really, really good. Um, if you're into Harry Potter at all, there's a lot of references to that in there, obviously. Um, but also a lot just about his life in general. And I actually found it really, really interesting. Um, I actually got this for Christmas off Richard. Um, so that was definitely a good present. I really enjoyed that. And then this one was another Christmas present. I got this off my mum. This, I knew I would enjoy, but I actually loved it so much more even than I expected to. Um, it's by Anton de Beck, obviously. Some of you may know him. He's a ballroom dancer, um, had a lot to do with Strictly over the years. Um, but he turned his hand to writing a few years ago. And this is possibly one of the best books I have ever read. Um, I absolutely loved it. It did take me maybe a couple of chapters to get into it. Um, it's very descriptive, which after reading an autobiography, which is much less about sort of the fantastical descriptions... 
this was sort of a lot to take at first because it was just so descriptive about everything. But once I'd got into those first couple of chapters and really started to feel a connection with some of the characters, I was absolutely in love with this. I finished it in about three days. And as soon as I get paid, I am ordering myself the second one in the series because there is a few more books. So I am glad that this story doesn't end with the end of this book. So yeah, that is where I am at at the minute with reading. As I say, I will let you know how I get on with Meant to Be Mine. Um, and then I've got a few others lined up where I can decide which one I want to read next. Um, but as I said, I am going to buy the sequel of that Anton Dubeck book on payday. So that will definitely be one of my February books. Another of my goals for this year is actually to stay more hydrated. I noticed last year that I really don't drink enough throughout the day. And I think that's part of the reason I feel really tired and sluggish a lot of the time or I get headaches. So I'm trying to make more of an effort to drink a bit more. I know people always say like you should drink so much water in a day, but I really hate water. So at the minute I am just on juice in my great big beautiful tomorrow cup that I got on honeymoon. This is like a game changer for me in drinking more because I'm aiming to drink three of these a day. Whereas in the past, I would be lucky maybe if I got through one of these a day. Um, and so far, I'm managing it every day. I am keeping track of it in my diary. So that is another aim for this year. And then the other aims for this year, while I'm on, I thought I might as well talk to you about them, is partly to get a lot of things done in the house that I want to get done. So I've got a list of mainly little jobs that aren't particularly expensive, won't take a lot of effort. There's a couple of bigger jobs in there, but mainly little jobs that I want to get done around the house. And then I also just really want to enjoy this year and do as much as we can. We've already got quite a lot booked in. Um, I will actually put on here a screenshot of my like countdown app of everything that we've got to look forward to so far in the first half of the year. As you can see on there, we have got a night in Newcastle in March. That is with my two brothers-in-law and their girlfriend and fiancé. And then in April, we have booked to go and see Harry Potter in concert in York. And then we've got a similar thing booked in June. We're going to Liverpool to see Disney 100 in concert. So we're really, really excited for those. And then in May, of course, it is our first wedding anniversary. I can't believe that has come around so quickly. Um, but yeah, in May, we are going to Pasturewood, the glamping pods that we often go to. To celebrate our wedding anniversary so that will be really exciting as well we actually got some vouchers as a wedding present for there so it hasn't even really cost us that much um so yeah that is the plans so far for 2023 and that is sort of my goals and aims for this year as well so i'm going to get on with the rest of work now i'll probably pick back up with you again just before i head out to my mum's, or if i think of anything else that that I want to tell you along the way, but I will definitely pick back up with you just before I head out later on. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but I just wanted to document that this is essentially how my work day goes. So I'm sitting at the dining room table, I'm wearing a dressing gown because it is absolutely freezing in this house and I refuse to put the heating on when it's such extortionate prices. Um, so I'm sitting in my dressing gown, on my computer chair, at the dining room table, and Stitch is determined that he wants to go to sleep on my knee. So I'm now currently working with one hand while he has a little nap on my other one. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would document that to show you, you know, this is a day in the life, a typical day, and this is what a typical work day looks like for me at the moment. It is actually coming up to lunchtime pretty soon, so we'll be getting up then anyway. Um, I think I'm maybe going to just have like some boiled teas and green beans for my lunch. Um, nothing too big or heavy because, like I said, we are getting chippy later um, for tea at my mum's. Um, so I think I'll just make myself a few boiled teas and some green beans and that will do me for now. But yeah, I'm going to have to disturb this little one to get up and make my lunch. Here's what we are having for lunch. As you can see, I have done too many green beans, far too many green beans. Um, I'm not very good at working out portions on veg. Um as you can also see, someone is here waiting for some food. Um, he's determined to sharing this with me. Whether he does or not, we will have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, I am really looking forward to this. I am really hungry. Slightly later lunch today. 
So I am going to devour this and then I will see you later on before I go to my mum's. So it's quite a bit later now and as you can see I am now out of the house on my way to my mum's. I can't believe how light it still is at half past four. Normally like it's pitch black at this time of day um, but I am not complaining. I am very happy that it's getting lighter at night again. So I've just finished work. I'm on my way into town to get the bus to my mum's um, but I am going to go and pick up some flowers for her first from Marks and Spencers and then like I said go to the chip shop as well. So I just need to have time to do both of those things before I need to get my bus. So I will bring you along and show you some bits if there's anything to show you. Um, if not, I'll just see you when I get to my mum's. <laughs> the dirty windows of the bus on that last clip but I just had to film that gorgeous sunset as we went over the bridge um, so yeah I'm nearly at my mum's now just got off the bus I've got the chips got the flowers as you'll have possibly seen um, when I was in m there were so many nice flowers that's the good thing when it's getting close to spring they start getting all the really nice flowers in and um, so I got some pink tulips I thought they were really nice and um, so hopefully she'll like those uh, and I cannot wait these chips smell so nice and I'm very hungry now. So yeah, I can't wait to get there. I will show you her presents once she's opened them probably. Um, and maybe a couple of clips of the cat or something. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it for now. Now that they've been opened, I can show you the presents. So we've got this garden Neela. This was an absolute bargain in the clearance from Argos. We have got one of these books, which is part of the series that I got her for Christmas. And then some Lambrini, some licorice all sorts, a nice cherry scented candle. That is a really nice flavour. That was from Home Bargains. And then a selection of puzzle books. They were also Home Bargains. And then lastly, and possibly my favourite present, the cat's getting involved. My favourite present is this photo book of some of the wedding photos sorry the lights reflecting on it quite a lot um yeah just a selection of wedding photos that was from snapfish so i'll link the specific type of book down below because it's actually one i didn't know that they did um so yeah that is all of the presents and now we are going to have our sausage and chips and watch some tv <laughs> Hello everyone, so it is actually much, much later now. Um, I'm actually just about to head to bed, but I realised I never actually finished the video. I never filmed anything after I showed you my mum's presents, really. Um, so I thought I would just come back on and end this before I go to bed and then at least I'm still ending it on the same day. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to have this up within the next day or two, um, just that it's not too long after the fact. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed watching this one. I have had a lovely day. Obviously, I was at work, so there was that. But other than that, it has been a lovely day. I've got lots done. I had a nice time at my mum's house. She seemed to have a nice birthday. Chippy was lovely. Um, yeah, and I just had a nice relaxed night there. And then I've just been at home reading since I got back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. I hope you really enjoyed this video. 
Um, if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That really does help. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Next week, we will be back to the usual programming at the minute of the honeymoon videos. Um, but I will possibly do another video like this around Valentine's Day sometime. And then, as I said earlier, we do have quite a few things planned throughout the first half of this year. So I'll be doing videos like this for those, but they will be interspersed with the honeymoon ones. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of those. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.